Welcome to my channel. Um, in this channel, I intend to share with you my personal journey to Christ, Jesus Christ of the Bible, and uh, hopefully, hopefully it will ring a chord with some other people out there and maybe some of you might even relate to my story my arc and consider um, accepting Jesus into your heart um, I'm new to YouTube I've been watching YouTube for years I just don't make my own videos and don't do that stuff. So, um, but God put it in my heart to to make some of these things. Or more like, I figured, I asked and I said, How, what could I do um, to make something useful? Um, because at the moment, given my life situation and the COVID situation here, it's like, you know, early spring 2020. So everybody knows that COVID's out. And um, I can't like join like mission trips and nothing like that. So I figured I wanted to do something constructive. So I thought, well, I got a pretty interesting testimony uh, I've been watching many other YouTubers share their life journey and it's been very inspiring and I learned a lot. So maybe I can participate and do the same. After all, I think God definitely uses the internet in our days now. There's no doubt about that. It would be pretty intelligent, and he's an intelligent guy, so... Anyways, um... The way... This is gonna be a, a mini-part video. And I don't want each video to be too long. Um... And I'm gonna try to pace it so that it's kind of bearable. Maybe I talk a bit slow at times. But this is totally unscripted. I figured it would be easier just to chat it out. Um, in 2001, my first year in university, and I studied in the US at, um, at a premier technical institute, not to be divulged too much private information because I don't need the attention in my private life. I'm going to take it as it goes. I want to see how much I, I don't disclose in detail. It's not necessary anyway. I started as a freshman at a premier technical institute. I mean, I'm a technical guy anyways, total geek. And obvious, uh, well, long story short, uh, I was a complete atheist, man, like... I hated people that talked about mystical things, man. Like, I couldn't stand it, you know? Like... Darwin, brother, you know? Origin of species. I thought religion was a plague in people that were religious, man. Um, my freshman year, I had two other roommates. Incredibly intellectually gifted guys. One guy's name was John, the other guy's name is Guy. Both of them highly mathematically gifted and very smart. Two of the most smart guys I've run into in my life. John, he's a complete atheist hardcore. Guy, on the other hand, he, he has space for God and the Bible but he's not a practitioner. He's more 
in limbo like a lot of people that might have had the heart for such a thing. Me? The faster we purge religion, the better the world would be kind of guy. And I really don't like people that talk about mystical experiences, man. Can't stand it. I think they're lying. They're like a scourge on the earth. I'm, um, I love coffee, so I'm sipping a lot while we talk. Anyways. Um, okay, so, freshman college, I'm a lot like, I would imagine many people, especially in technical institutes, to be reductionist materialist worldview and through all my college years like that, man, like, I was just focusing on nothing more but eventually my career to come and trying to make material gains and, uh, yeah, live my life. A few years after our freshman year, Guy starts um, dating someone who is um, also an engineering student, but very active in church. And I thought, that's kind of weird, but um, it really got to Guy. And I remember him just... Um, becoming very religiously motivated and uh, having always talking about this rebirth and stuff you know I, I, of course I knew a lot about these terms I, I've been around them my, my entire life right like I've had missionary friends growing up um, yeah but without getting too much into that mm, so guy we were out eating uh we had a get together many years after our freshman year i mean we were so busy with school so we didn't hang out a whole lot but towards our senior year uh john guy and i uh, got together and had kind of like uh hey let's guy was giving us an update about some of the more crazy things that had happened to him in his journey in the later few months into christianity and he would say that in his process of becoming reborn, he noticed many weird things, like he noticed a certain type of ill-natured spiritual attack from demons and things. And I just thought, dude, if it wasn't you guy, I would never pay any attention to this type of talk, but Guy is above me, like, technically the guy is a machine, you know. And so I took what he said, and I listened, I took it in. But I didn't, um, I didn't, I compartmentalized it somewhere in the back of my mind. I didn't carry it on with the rest of my thinking during the days. I just thought, okay, whatever, that's weird. I can't really categorize that, you know, it means nothing to me. But Guy would say that um, multiple nights in a row, he would have the same reoccurring dream and it would be a horrible nightmare. And he'd wake up in a state of discomfort. And it would be the same time at night. Like in this case, I can't remember what it was, but it might've been like two in the morning, 22 minutes past two in the morning. And it would be the same time, the same dream. And this is, I think, Carl Gustav Jung calls these things synchronicities. So he was having synchronous experiences, religiously, spiritually charged synchronous experiences that would defy standard logic from our, my point of view. And I thought that was really, really weird. And life went on for me. We graduated and um, I didn't think much of what Guy said. 